Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing science with a hammer. How cool is that? And we're going to be breaking open these geodes. So what do you think's inside of these rocks? Well, stay tuned and let's find out. So here's what we're looking at today. National Geographic, break open 10 geodes. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Inside, we have an instruction manual. Two little display stands, I think they're supposed to be. Very important safety goggles. And a little magnifying glass. And the most important component of all, a bag of 10 geodes. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside the instruction guide. It tells us how to crack open the geodes. Some interesting science on just what is a geode and how are they formed in the earth. More background information on geodes. It's a good learning opportunity here. And a fascinating section on types of geodes. Look, fluorescent geodes, agate, amethyst, calcite, quartz, druzy quartz, and scepter quartz. They look pretty cool, huh? And then there's foreign language versions of the manual. I've come out onto the patio so that I have a hard surface with which to break these rocks. They're going to be very hard to break. Let's just try it with a hammer first before we invoke my little chisel type screwdriver. But first, safety glasses on. Let's see if we can break this rock. Oh, much too hard, but you can see inside there are some crystal structures. That's what's inside a geode. I use too much force, but we do have some crystals here. Quite cool. Okay, let's get another geode and see if we can break it more cleanly and not into pieces. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to try and hit it not so hard this time. Maybe we'll get a clean break down the middle. There's definitely an art here. To breaking it open without shattering it into a million pieces. I have a crack in there. Let's try and catch that crack. Ah, what do we have here? Not such a great crystal there. No, this one's definitely got some crystal in there, but it's not really a hollow geode. Try the small one. Once again, not much in that piece. Let's try and break this a bit further. Well, it's kind of disappointing too. It's very hard to break these. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. Okay, let's try this bigger one. 
Aha! Let's take a look at what we've got here. Definitely have some crystal in there. And some white crystal in here. Not really a hollow geode though. I think the first one we broke was the best. So since my video out on the patio was so terribly out of focus, let's take a better look at what I came up with after cracking all my geodes. So here's the really big geode that I had such a really hard time breaking. You can see that there is in fact crystals inside, but it's pretty much a solid block of crystal. It's not hollow like a geode is supposed to be. Here's the other big one, the gray one. You can see there's small amounts of crystals. There's a little hollow patch here. But once again, it's really just a solid block of crystal in there. This one also was a disappointment. Just a tiny, tiny bit of crystal, mostly rock. Another example of one filled entirely with crystal. It's quite a nice piece of white crystal in there, but it's not a geode or at least it's not hollow, as classic geodes are supposed to be. This is probably some of my best results. Some beautiful white crystal in there. Definitely some examples of it being hollow. And here too, lots and lots of white crystal. Here's an example of some sandy crystal. This again has a sense of being hollow. And there's some beautiful sandy colored crystal in there glinting away. Another piece of white crystal. It's definitely disappointing that all my crystals came out white. None of them were red or blue or other lovely colors. Some nice crystal here. Here's some darker crystal. This actually looks kind of nice in there. Look at that. Let's look at my ratings for this kit. Packaging, 5 out of 5. Not much to say about this. Components, I give a 4 out of 5. There's a very high quality set of goggles, which is very important for this kind of experiment. And a bag of rocks. <laughs> Not really much you can say about components either. Instructions, I give a three out of five. There was a very short section about how to crack open these geodes. I think we could have done with more tips. I found it incredibly challenging. And I'm sure some experts who made this kit could very well have given better ideas of how to crack them open cleanly without them shattering, like many of mine did. Lessons three, but again, I think it suffers from the lack of instructions about how to break these open cleanly. I also think they could have picked more quality rocks. They seem to be mostly of the type of very small, which are not likely to be hollow, right? They're gonna shatter. Or very large geodes, which just seemed impossible to break open. Science, I give a four. The instruction manual had some great information on what are geodes, where do they come from? What are all the different types? Uh, good work there, definitely very educational. Fun, I give it a three. Yeah, it's fun to take a hammer to science and break some rocks, but I think the fun fades pretty quickly when you start shattering these things and you don't find those pretty blue and red geodes inside. Overall, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. It had a lot of promise, but I just don't think it delivered to what you see on the box. I think they over-promised what these geodes would look like. 
So there we are, National Geographic's Geodes Kit. Overall, I was a little disappointed in it. I wish I'd got more classic geodes that were hollow inside. Now, I know picking rocks, you can't really tell what's inside, but I'm sure they would have ways to maximize the chances of getting some beautiful blue or red crystals. Now, they all seem to be of the white type. This is intended for ages eight plus, but I think the kids would be a little disappointed that that what they see on the box is not really what they get when they break open. Well, then maybe I was unlucky and maybe everybody else gets beautiful red and blue crystals. I don't know. So that's my review of this kit. Please give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos about science. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.